We could have some sort of lecture or structure, but add in some cases to work through cases. I have been selected to be one of the co-chiefs for the family program here at Sunnybrook. Um, we did a couple months ago some elections, so we had to give our platform and do some speeches, and um, I became one of the chiefs that way. My peers elected me. I officially start in July. I take over from the chiefs that are, are graduating this year, but we've been doing a lot of planning already. Has anybody come up with ideas or things that they really want covered? So at least between your guys' half days and ours, we can at least meet as many of the requirements people want. There are some things that I thought um, we would benefit from. So the main thing was the academic half days. I really like the whole case-based learning type thing and I found that a lot of our lectures were just that. They were just lectures and weren't really interactive. So that was the main source of my platform. Okay, so shooters at 10 o'clock. And they want peds this year too. Yeah. So the main thing that we do is we work to liaise with the faculty here at Sunnybrook um, tell them what the residents want and also bring that to the DFCM, so the department. We do that through the Family Residents Association of Toronto, so FRAT. So we attend those meetings, it's usually a monthly meeting, and we give like a check-in about what sorts of things we're having issues with or what we really like. Part of the reason why I wanted to be chief was so I can see it from the other end of the spectrum, so seeing what the administrative side is on these things. And if I want to do teaching, then that's one thing I'm going to have to know what to do. Um, so all three of those you can hold on to. I will show you where to find the information as well. It, there is a bit of a pay raise. <laughs> we, get a, we get a little bit of extra money to help. Um, basically it compensates for the extra hours of work that we have to do. Uh, this is great because then we get a head start on planning the academic teaching for 2013-2014 starting in July. It's been really busy um, but we try and schedule meetings within the work days. You know, it can add anywhere from one extra hour to, you know, 10 extra hours per week. But once we get the academic half day set up, or at least get them rolling, the added, the added um, work of just doing the call schedules isn't really that much. And then, you know, we'll have monthly meetings and those will add an extra couple hours per month. So it's not too bad once the whole year gets rolling. It's more this whole process now, you know, it's crunch time. July 1st is around the corner and that's sort of when the goal is to have most things done by. So right now it's, it's crunch time.